Epilepsy can cause a seizure at a moment's notice with little to no warning. In today's Health Watch, Local 3's Connie Feldman introduces us to a woman who lived with that reality until a cutting edge procedure finally brought her peace of mind. Imagine something as simple as taking a shower, filling you with anxiety. Will you have another seizure? Fall and injure yourself again? How bad will it be this time? That was the reality for a local woman who's lived with epilepsy for most of her life, but finally found relief through responsive neurostimulation at Aurora Baker Medical Center. Falling in a shower, knocking, knocking your head, breaking a hip, drowning. Yep. For Green Bay's Angie Baton, the simple act of bathing had become an anxiety provoking event. That may sound silly, but experience had taught her it's anything but silly. I was home by myself in the shower and I woke up naked in bed, wet. No idea what happened, but then I'm like, oh, I got a big knot on my head. I, I had a seizure in the shower. Baton had been dealing with epileptic seizures since she was first diagnosed at age 15. It's been a life, a lifelong thing for me where it's on again, off again, on again, off again. The medical treatments she tried offered little relief. Since 2009, I've been on meds straight up follow-ups, you know, once a year, twice a year after I've had seizures, that type of thing. But the fact that she'd tried medication and it didn't work was actually one reason she was considered a candidate for a new surgical procedure called responsive neurostimulation or an RNS implant. With seizures, um, if you fail two or more medicines that you really should be coming to see an epileptologist. Dr. Sean Witten is the epileptologist neurologist at Aurora Bay Care who saw Baden for the cutting edge treatment. Angela is the second patient that we've had um, for me here personally. Witten describes the complicated brain procedure in more familiar terms. Basically what it is, it's almost like a defibrillator. Actually, so does Baden. Admitting her initial impression of RNS was less than enthusiastic. Putting basically Frankenstein bolts in my head to monitor my brain waves. Perhaps the modern version of Frankenstein bolts, an RNS implant does involve electrode strips on the surface of the brain connected to a generator battery that Witten says is implanted on the surface of the skull. This allows doctors to see brainwave activity that may precede a seizure and program the device to intervene. So it recognizes a pattern, it delivers a uh, electrical impulse to the brain to abort uh, the seizure. For Baton, what once filled her with visions of old horror movies now fills her with optimism. I had surgery January 18th of this year. Okay. And knock on wood, I have not had a seizure since. Baton says she wants people living with epilepsy that isn't being helped by medication to know they're not alone. She understands the stresses and struggle and wants them to know there's hope. If you're frustrated by it, you are not the only one. Um, talk to your neurologist about seeing an epileptologist. Dr. Witten says about 30% of people admitted to the hospital for seizures don't actually have epilepsy at all. Something else is causing the seizures, which is why it's so important to get the correct diagnosis to see which plan of care is right for you. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Fellman, Local 3 News.